In this video, I'm going to talk about multi-velocity based samples and how we can use them in Ableton Live to create much more realistic and dynamic drum performances and or performances with any instrument using Ableton Live. Now as an example, I'm going to show off this awesome product by Drum Drops. I recently picked up their Maypix Heavy Rock Kit and his awesome recording. It's just gorgeous how they recorded all the different variations of the hi-hat and all these different velocities and all these different variations to make it really realistic when you play it with an Ableton Live. So I'm going to go over to my live set and show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn these down. So here is a loop that I have, right? And it's just a MIDI, it's just a MIDI clip that's going to play through this acoustic kit that I have in Ableton Live to give you an idea of what it would sound like. All right, so with these samples, right, like the strike, if I come over here and look at it, I basically have a single sample. Now, if the velocity is lower or higher, it's just the same sample with a higher or lower volume. Now, when I come over here, I'm going to play the same thing. So let's play this first one, the Acoustified. So I'm going to play that same exact MIDI pattern through the Mapex. You notice that this already has some nice variation in its sound. And that's because it's using multi-samples. So let's look at here. Let me just play it. Come over to the hi-hat. And I'm going to have to open up the zones. So within these zones, they've separated all these different sounds by the velocity. So that way, let's just solo it. I have all these really humanistic variations, different tonal quality based on how hard I hit that original sample. Now let's take that just a step further. I'm going to shrink these zones. And I'm going to play this one, which is a little variation. It's the same pattern, but I just took advantage of what they give you by using these different types of hi-hats. So this way, when you have like five to 10 samples representing a single kick with all these different variations, you get a much more humanistic sounding final sound out of it. Whereas in this original one, in comparison, just stop that and super flat. This one sounds much more lively and much more performed by a human than the other one in comparison. What you can do to create multi timbre instruments are these versions of multiple samples separated by velocities. You can either come in here in wherever this hit is and I can use a sampler and then within sampler you can come over to these different separations. You could have all your different samples and then just come in here and separate them by their velocity. And if you have regular live, not the sweet version, and you don't have the simpler, you can actually get around that too. So I'm just going to insert a MIDI and then I can put in, just as an example, an instrument rack, drag it in there. And what I can do is create a chain. And I can do the same thing. I can come in here in velocity and I can separate it. So now, whenever I play something lightly, it'll play that sample and loud would play that one. And then I can just separate two different instances of the simpler on there. And there you go. That's really quickly an overview of how you can create this. I'm going to have an article on my site, subaqueousmusic.com, where I'm going to walk through some steps and ideas around multi-sample velocity. 
bass drum racks and instruments. So my whole point is that multi-sample velocity based instruments are way more realistic. They have so much more depth and it'll create an amazing performance. Drum drops, I highly suggest checking out even just to learn how they've created it. You can order up one of these and check it out and, and kind of look at how they did it and why they built it the way that they did and then implement that your own stuff or just check out their awesome racks. I mean, I don't normally like to sell products or talk about other people's products on my site, but this is fantastic. It's just an amazing cutting edge drum rack. Something that I was getting at with this different version is look at all the different versions of hi-hats they have. The edge, the edge open, the edge three quarters, open half, open quarter. I mean, you can get so specific and then each one of those is velocity sensitive. And check out drumdrops.com to check out their awesome drum racks.